Hello friends, this is Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on G plus 3 building design using Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, in the previous video, we had made a centerline diagram in AutoCAD. So if you haven't watched that video, please go and watch those. So after creating the centerline diagram in AutoCAD, we can convert that into a DXF file or we can save that file as a DXF for import. And also, we make sure we put the center line in one layer and the remaining plan in another layer so that we can import properly. So as you can see, this is our Tecla Structural Designer interface. Here we'll first create our construction levels and then import the DXF file which we had created. So let's get started. So first of all, we can go to our home and then go to our model, construction levels. Then we'll create some construction levels here. The base or the foundation level will give 1.2 meters and the base is actually the plinth level. And for the base and that is a plinth level and the foundation level will give TOF. TOF means top of foundation. And for the remaining that is this one which refers to the ground floor slab will give SSL that is the structural slab level and the height will be 3.2 meters. So as you can see we have created this plinth level foundation level, ground floor slab level, first floor slab level, second floor slab level and third floor slab level and the floor to floor height is 3.2 meters and the height of the plinth level is 1.2 meters and the foundation is also this 1.2 meters below. So we'll just click on OK and then we'll just import our DXF file. For importing our DXF file, we'll go to this, as you can see here, in the model option, we have this import DXF. So we'll import our DXF file, which we had created in the previous video. This DXF file is actually the center line. Now, as you can see, we have these options here of center line and the remaining layers. So we just need the center line and we'll import it as architectural grids and so we'll choose the unit as mm and then next. Now we'll select architectural grids by layer and we'll import this to all the levels we have created. So we'll just tick on all the levels and by layer then finish. So as you can see this architectural grids or the center line have been imported in all the levels as you can check by going to all the levels. Now the next thing is we can import our architectural plan as a shadow on each individual levels. We'll do that. This is the same process, but here in the previously we needed only center line. Now we don't need the center line. Bearing the center line, we need the remaining layers. So we'll unselect the center line and we'll select shadow here and select mm here. The remaining parts are same. So we need to zoom this. So after zooming this, now as you can see here, we know the position of all the columns as we had given the position of the columns in our AutoCAD file as you can see here these are the columns so we can give the column positions effectively here we can also import our architectural grids in the foundation level so we'll go to our foundation level that is our base and import the architectural plan there. So we'll go to the base and then import DXF and then import the architectural plan here bearing the center line and after importing this we will insert our columns. So after importing we need to zoom as this is a software property. So as you can see We'll just choose columns and then go to properties and then define the size of the columns. Size of the columns we can give as 300 into 250. So this size we can give to our columns and the grade of reinforcement steel we'll choose as FE500. The FE500 bars are widely available in the market and various companies like Tata Tascon, Jindal Steel, SRMB manufactures this steel of grade FE500. Alignment we need to do as untick the automatic part so that we can place the columns at the center just like this. 
So as we had already defined the position of columns, we can easily just simply insert the columns in our plan. Bottom level is our foundation level and top level is our the highest level we had created. After having inserted all the columns, we'll go back to a 3D view to just have a look. Uh, as you can see, all these columns have been placed properly. So that's all for this video. In the upcoming videos, we'll show you how to insert the beams. First, we'll insert the plane beam and then we'll do work on the remaining model. So that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.